everyone wants to say that they've had a Breeders' Cup winner, trained one, owned one, rode one, so I think it's somewhere everyone wants to be. It's probably the most international meeting of anywhere in the world. Um, there's the best horses from America running against the best ones from Europe, you know, Ireland, England, France. It is what it says, it's a world championship. It's one of the premier meetings in the world. Uh, there's very good prize money and uh, it's very hard to win there. You know, from, from the start of the season you have your good horses and you start to plan them out and, and the Breeders' Cup is always a big check mark at the end of the year. Over the years, Dad would have always sent uh, uh, some, some of his best animals uh, to try and have winners there. It's been an unbelievable meeting for us since it started. I've been going to the Breeders' Cup uh, since I was a kid really, uh, with Mum and Dad. It was always something that we looked forward to every year. We, we always travelled together, and that was the way we always did. And um, Wherever we went, we all went, you know. So for them, I suppose, the season would be long and be busy. And, uh, and then, like, obviously to go wherever it is was always a, something really to look forward to for the, the week or ten days, you know. So um, the lads would have great memories, I think, from it. And we all have, really. And high chaparral! High Chaparral is a horse I remember fondly. He obviously obviously performed very well at the Breeders' Cup a number of times. And High Chaparral is under the line to win it by a length and a half. Here comes Giants Causeway for Ireland on the outside. Giants Causeway was second in the Classic, just beaten. Henry de Navigate were second in the Classic Declaration of War. Joseph Rodham just, just got pipped as well and uh, ran it. an unbelievable race. They're tough races. The Classics are tough. Here comes the European champion. Johannesburg would be hard to top. Uh, like he ran again all the the best American juveniles on the dirt. First time, I think he'd won four or five Group Ones in four different countries. You know, before that, so like incredible. Mick gave him an incredible ride on the night, and uh, uh, listen, it was a very special night, really. Saint Nicholas Abbey with a late run. I suppose Joseph winning on Saint Nicholas Abbey was kind of the first big one that stands out, certainly. St. Nicholas Abbey, history in the making. Joey O'Brien for his father, Aidan O'Brien. Uh, Joseph was very young at the time. I think he might have been only 18, maybe, when he, when he rode him to, to win the, the, the Turf Classic. It was an unbelievable night. It's Father's Day at the Breeders' Cup. It's probably one of the top ones for Joseph and for all of us. Um, it was probably the first real world stage big winner that Joseph had. And, um, you know, on a horse like, like St. Nicholas Abbey, um, meant it was, it was very special. It took a while for it to sink in, uh, the magnitude of it. It was very special for me just to have a ride at the meeting. I just wanted to enjoy the experience and to learn as much as we could. And uh, um, St. Nicholas Abbey was, was an ex exceptional horse on his day and he put up a fantastic performance that day. We all watched it. Um, we, we tend to watch races at the Breeders' Cup just in front of the winning line, usually close to the track. Um, I think we were all there. Um, some of our friends happened to be over for um, for this for the week, and um, no, it was obviously it was it was very special, and uh, it'll always be a very uh, special day for all of us. It will be Eridessa to win for Joseph O'Brien and Wade Lorden. Uh, it was a dream come true really to have a winner there uh, and we had only had a handful of runners. There's much much more pressure as a trainer, I suppose you've prepared the horse and, and there's a big expense and everything involved in travelling over. I think he became the youngest trainer to ever have a winner over there so I think I have about two or three years to try and beat that so um, hopefully next year we'll have something and uh, it'd be great to try and take the record away from him.